want a tip on how to intensify your cards to add that lovely drama and atmosphere to them. Why not take a piece of coloured cardstock, add a little bit of ink with your blending tool and fade out to the middle. This creates a beautiful highlight to add any stamped image over the top and creates so much drama and atmosphere to your cards. I'm Verity and welcome to my channel Pretty Little Button where I make paper crafting tutorials for the everyday crafter. So this video is part of a blog hop to celebrate Alter News release of the Coral Sunset Painter Flower. I'll give more details about this later on in the video so stay tuned. The Coral Sunset Painter Flower is a beautiful bloom, it's got three florals within the cluster and some foliage and of course the packaging always comes with some really great inspiration. So don't forget to take that out so you can get some inspiration for when you're using this. Now for this card I want to add a lot of drama to these. The best way for me to do this is to use some ink blending. To make it a bit quicker I like to use it where you ink blend onto some coloured cardstock. This means you don't need to add ink to the full card panel and you haven't got to use up so much of your ink. So I started off by ink blending a teal colour daydream around the edge of the card, fading this into the middle of the card with circular motions, softening it up as I was going into the middle. Once I'd done the whole of the card panel going around all of the edges, I'm then going in with a darker blue, so this is a navy juniper mist, and again doing the same thing, circular motions, ink blending into the middle and fading out. A tip for a smooth transition is to go back between your colours and blend these together and it really will smooth out that transition and then you get a lovely beautiful highlight to your card panel as you can see here. For my second one I decided that I was going to go for a bit more of a darker colour and this time I started off with a darker blue cardstock. This time I'm only using one of the blues so this is the darker blue the navy and again using the same motion of circular motion around the card panel fading it out into the middle to give the highlight effect and ensuring that I've got a much more darker amount of ink towards the edge. I also went in with a black just around the edges of this card just to intensify it a little bit more and it just adds a bit more drama and then if you compare this to the first card I have a lovely darker version. So the Coral Sunset is a beautiful bloom which you can paint in but I also thought it would look beautiful just heat emboss quite simply on these ink blended panels. I'm positioning the Coral Sunset Bloom onto one corner of the card and for this card I decided I wanted the bloom to feature on the opposite corners of one another to help sort of frame the sentiment. Because I've done a lot of ink blending I treated this card panel with my anti-static powder just to try and remove any excess residue the embossing powder could stick to. And once I'd done that I then stamped this in my embossing ink, my clear embossing ink and I rotated the card panel to stamp it on both corners. After I'd stamped both corners I just removed it from my misty and then I'm covering it in super fine gold embossing powder. I went for super fine because it's a really lovely intricate delicate stamp and I really want to make sure I keep all that fine detail and a super fine embossing powder is perfect for this. I went for gold because it really complements the teal and the blue colours, it really stands out and then when you heat emboss it, it absolutely shines and really it looks stunning on this background. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is part of a blog hop, so if you're watching this over on my YouTube channel, make sure you do check out my blog, there is a link in the description box below. There is part of this hop a giveaway as well, also new are giving away $200 in prizes, that's a $50 gift card to two lucky winners as well as five $20 gift cards. So make sure you hop on over to my blog, leave a comment and hop along the rest of the hop, the more you comment the more chance you have to win. Also new will announce their winners on the 30th of March on their winners page. So for the second card panel, I had a slightly different idea in mind as I was doing this. Instead of heat embossing, I was going to just stamp it in my embossing ink to create a watermark look. So I positioned the stamp, I inked it up in my embossing ink and then stamped down on the corners. Now I rotated the card panel in several different positions. I repositioned the stamp also in several different positions to get different parts of the cluster on the card because I wanted this to be a much more fuller card to have much more of the foliage on there. Once all of that was stamped I was then going to heat emboss the sentiment directly onto the card panel. 
So I'm just positioning the Miss You, which comes in the stamp set, onto the middle of the card panel, and I'm just using the grid lines of my Misty to line that up to make sure it looks straight. That's a really great tool with Misty, you do have those grid lines to help try and align your sentiments. Now before I stamp that down, I wanted to check whether my card panel was dry, especially all the stamping that I'd done. So I'm just taking the embossing powder over the top and just covering it to see whether any of it still clings to any of the areas of card. Now it, it did, and I can wipe that excess away. I haven't got to worry about heat embossing it. But because this is a very a big tub of super fine powder, it also has a bit of sort of very, 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 very fine like mica powder in there, like, a bit like pearl, um, perfect pearls. And I thought, well, it's on there now. I can't remove it. If I heat emboss it, it won't make any difference. I can't wipe it off because it's sticking to the stamp. Why not just cover it all and cover all of that stamping in that powder, wipe it off, and you get this beautiful, soft gold stamping appearance. And it's very, very subtle. You can see it in the when you turn the card in the light, and it looks lovely. I think this went really, really well with the darker colour scheme I'd gone for. Now, to add a bit more interest, I decided to use my Alter New Metallic watercolour paints. I've spritzed the pans with some water, and then I'm using a round brush just to dip my brush into the paints and then splatter this over the card. I'm using a selection of different colours of the paints. I'm using sort of the white and a couple of golds and bronzes to add a little bit more variation and interest to the card. So to finish the card off, I had heat embossed the Miss You instead onto a piece of black cardstock and heat embossed that in white. And I did this on both cards and also heat embossed a secondary sentiment from, from the stamp set. I fussy cut the Miss You out and I foam mounted them onto the front. And then for this first card, I just finished it off with a few sequins, iridescent sequins scattered around the card. And because I added all that paint splatter to the second card, I didn't really need to embellish it. But I really love the difference in the two cards, how they can look really different with either heat embossing or using sort of that powder to create a very soft look to it. If you're new to my channel, why not think about subscribing and hitting that bell icon to be notified when my next video is up. Until next time, happy crafting!